What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Namaste. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes. She's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this with one. anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too. Please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Oh. Come, come, Miguel, come. Oh. Awesome. Oh. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubt. So why is she driving a tank on hers? <sighs> Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin and put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Katasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Un, deux, trois. If mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. In and out with the breath, Michael. Breathe out, please. Isn't that far better than booze and nicotine? Inhale through the nose and out the mouth. Who would have thought it possible? Now, in through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. There, strong, like an erection of your youth. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> you feel that the emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. Breathe, Mikkel. Very good. Now let it go. How many years of marriage, and this is the first time he's taken an interest in my hobbies? Erect, turgid, hold it, stroke it. The silly man forgets to breathe. Let it out. There! Let it go! Now, you breathe. There! There it is! Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. <laughs> Everything is flowing in me. Oh. Ah. 
Mike, would you? <laughs> Hold your anus strong, my child. Take in the air and release it. Let it go. Good. Breathe, please, my kid. There. Your lungs, they work, yes? Exhale. For a meat eater, it's okay. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? You're sweating, Michael. That's all the impurities coming out. Just breathe, babe. Out through the mouth. Can you wash that mat later? It's gonna smell all bloody and smoky and Michael-y. Take in the air and release it. Can you thank us now for saving you from the couch? Breathe, please, my kid. Let it out. You're turning red. <sighs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, mm, oh, 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 oh! What? Hey, enough of that shit! Ah! Ah! Yoga is the answer, Mikael. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! Hand it! Bony! French! Fucking Yogi! Ah. Jimmy! You still here? James! Leave me alone! Oh yeah, fuck! You. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you're a faggot and you like that sort of sh It's nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your... Friend. Burger shot. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of the city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You'll see through some of the bullshit. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. Hey, man. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. 
<laughs> Yo, oh, brother man, <laughs> what's man? up? What's, what's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> now, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy, just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful man. with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. You're serious. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little You're fine. No. Really, this is not Chill normal. Chill out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. You should see yourself. Just chill out and drive home. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I gotta stop. Oh, who's in there? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You fucking shit. you you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. All right, you're too crazy, Dad. Come on. Get out of here.
Michael, I think you've finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He's like family. That's it, ain't he, Floyd? That, 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 that's it, right, yes. Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place, and the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa, whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. <sighs> Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done, all right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, T. I really miss you know where the port is? Come on then, Floyd, what you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're gonna have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir. I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Floyd always was a sticking of mine. Now look, sir, 
Please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding him. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether security consultant. Private army to the New World Order? My butt's gone The folks up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter? Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. They won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Meriwether guys out by the Navy warehouse. And they got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right. We'll take a look at that as well. These bridges. Are they the only way out the port? Yeah. Once you're off them, you're straight on the highway. A truck can come here, load up, and get on the blacktop, keep on going till he runs out of gas. Real poetic. What happens if an alarm's tripped? The National Office of Security Enforcement monitors the whole area. If something goes off in Port City, every road round here gets shut down. No way anybody could come in or out. Park and get the dispatch. No, yep, well do. <laughs> Here comes the soup. I gotta check in. One. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. So he's drunk at this point, right? Yeah, he's always drunk. Well, he's particularly We got a waste drunk, spillage okay? and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> it don't matter what way Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Oh, Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they had the water surface real covered. Okay. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Merriweather guys at 2 o'clock. They're giving Forrest a hard time, all right. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby got to be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! You drive and I'll spot. I guess they're gonna kick me out if I don't play along. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. 
we don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boys on a waste clearance crew. Those are the containers in Bay B. I'm gonna lose my job. They're gonna check us. Clamp it on now. Okay, we got it. Let's take her down to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. You happy? Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot! Hook it up! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. Deborah's old friends with the... Well, with the... <laughs> with the... With the say no more! You didn't fellate no one, but darling Debbie probably did. And she probably enjoyed it. If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. Time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Get up on this walkway, climb down the ladder, and go into the cabin.
There ain't time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. The red containers below need to go on the trucks at the end. Grab them, move them, put them down. First, you gotta line up the cabin over the container. There's some lights on the spreader that should help with alignment. Looks like you're in line. You're in position, so drop the spreader down and secure the load. Looks good to me. Grab onto it. It's hooked up, so lift it high enough to clear that container stack and move it to the other end. Take us to the other end, bay number five. Keep going, keep going. That's the truck. Ease her onto it. Bring the container down over the truck's frame. Truck is clear to go. And you said you wasn't qualified. Go back up to the other end and start again. Get back down to the other end. Get in position over the second container in Bay 1. This is Weasel News. Most Santos traffic is so bad that one might come with a dead body. What will it take for you to use public transit? Transit News. Done. Break time. Wow. I mean, this is some view, ain't it? I'm gonna take a couple shots for my boy. Trevor, you want to see that warehouse? Come on! This rig ain't being used.
It's on the other side of Port City. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No. Floyd, it's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best-paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. The spillage shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. There's nothing more true, more honest, more American than commercials. No enciendo! Uh, no understando! Uh, manifesto! Manifesto say deliver here! Mm. Hey, stop! Where the fuck Get do you think you go? Get back out! got confused. Uh, God don't speak English. Uh, must have just read the manifesto. manifesto. He said, he said, no, here! Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Meriwether. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah. Of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's got to be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Meriwether at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere.
no effing way. See my car! of all things holy. Submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and I'll, well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, all right. D -d Bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Look, uh, I'll have a truck to bring you around the warehouse. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary folks on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution, and they behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power guns and anabolic steroids. <sighs> Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Merryweather are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them! Oh, great. 
Well, look forward to that. Okay, well, that's more like it. I'm here. Oh, it's just down the road, Los Santos Marine, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut. Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. Deborah's home. No cut for you, no cut for Deborah.
you can park it there. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. On my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here, which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that, too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, bring it back here, and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aight, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? It's gotta be the container, right? You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yeah. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Uh, uh, Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! Hey, bro, you're late. Nine years fucking late. You know, you're so late, in fact, you have no right to call me. Bro, is that clear? Ah, uh, shut the fuck up. You're like a broken fucking record. Oh, yeah? Well, you're like a shit. Exactly like a shit. Where's the assistant? On his way. Uh, I can't idolize this. He gives me the creeps. Yo! Yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. Ah, oh, nattering. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever, man. So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah, done most of the planning, and uh, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's, apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way, because as I recall the last time when we did it your way, we all got shot at, you got buried, resurrected, turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison! Yeah, and Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. But you shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, owe me, all right? So this time, we do things my way. <laughs> yeah, and what about after this? After this, we think about things. So what's the plan? Easy. We are sinking a freighter into Los Santos Harbor, all right? Now, Daddy's little helper, you're gonna be on the bridge, all right? You're the lookout. Now, you, you're boarding the freighter and planting charges. Me, I'm running the deep water salvage operation with a little help from my friends. Uh, you, fat man, of course, well, you're not one of those friends. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck's sake, where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? Man, fuck you! Ah, better! I like that! Fuck you! Good! 
Good, all right, now let's go make some money, ladies, huh? Brilliant. Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master. Let's go, Junior. Hey, Wade, get Michael a wetsuit, or I take him to the boat. Oh. Stop dragging your heels, kid. We need some transport. I'm coming, man. Oh, we taking my car, are we? I'm dropping you on the port city side of the Miriam Turner overpass, all right? No, you can't make every... Almost forgot. Here's the rifle with a thermal scope. Almost forgot. I was kind of sold on, like, a well-organized job, planned out, with Lester's weird eye for detail. I got an eye for details, kid. Little details like your brick of blow being drywall. Uh, okay, man. I'm grateful for that, dog. But, but buying cocaine is a whole different thing from sinking a container ship into a harbor. Man, not really, kid. It's all about what's inside. Cool. So, what's the thing, man? I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. You heard of Merriweather? Uh, yeah, maybe. Merriweather Security Consulting, the company our government uses to fight its wars and protect its shady interests all over the planet. They're the army? They're like the army, only they're private, so they cost more. Anyway, they've just been cleared to take government contracts on U.S. soil. And what's one of the first on the list? This container at the port? Exactamundo! So it's gotta be valuable, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter, because your job is not to understand. It's to shoot at people who try to stop us. I'm stopping the car in the median here. Head to your shooter's nest and call Mike. All right, man, whatever. Hey, dog, I'm in position. Let me know when you're ready. All right, F, I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, I got you, homie. Hey, yo, there's two guards. These are bad dudes, right? From what I read about them, yeah. They ain't no peace workers. It's clear, man. Climb aboard. Things I do for old friends. I got four bombs to plant, kid. Look out for me while I do it. There's some serious manpower on this ship. First bomb is planted and armed. I'm moving up to the next position. Hey, do this quick, man. I don't know how much backup they got below deck. I can do it quick or I can do it right, okay? Looks clear. Rig the bomb. Hey, ain't you gonna set up that bomb? Second charge set. Two to go. Hey, you got a clear path. Plant the bomb. Hey, if 
this is Trevor Stang. Why ain't he doing any other wet work? Because he's screwing around in a submarine. I don't know how we got roped into this shit. Third bomb's in place. Last one needs to go inside the ship. Hey, come to the south side. I can clear the entrance. Way is a level above you. Here's the door. Going in. Get back to where I can see you as soon as you can. I'm not gonna screw around in here, all right? Just tell me when you planted it. Oh, shit. Alarm's gone, man. You okay? Are you okay, man? You gotta go. Hey, more guys in the port. They see me. Shit. I'll take out as many as I can from around the side of the ship. Hey, what is this thing? It looks kind of sinister. 
If we knew what it was, it wouldn't be top secret or very valuable, would it? It ain't doing anything to the water, is it? I'm swimming around in this. Well, it could get your powers, turn you into infinite rage. Ha <laughs> ha, nah. Just take a shower after, you'll be fine. Uh, how did I let myself get talked into this? I see it. I'm picking it up. Hey, go easy with that thing. I'll tell them what it can do. Say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, let's hope so. Hey, is that Lester? What? Hey, man, what the fuck you doing here? You should be in bed. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves enemies of the state. You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA. You could fuck with them all day long, but. When you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is gonna be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps! Ho hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What'd you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Whoa! Holy fuck, Lester Crest! Holding on and looking good, huh? Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah, I pulled a score. What, are you jealous because you didn't get your 20%? If that thing doesn't go back, then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking watch! So they don't watch, they kill. Idiot, we'll all be dead within a week. Think! All right, listen. Take the truck, take a guy, do what you gotta do. Trevor? I'll load it up. Uh, Trevor? Great. Then you and the patient can take it all back. Right fucking now! So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. Fuck! Come on, Franklin. You owe me, Michael. I am owed. What you gonna do, huh? I think of something. I gotta get Franklin some work too. I'll take this. Yeah, yeah. Lots of mouths to feed, amigo. Tell me about it. Fuck!
are missing a chopper. They lost one, that's a shame. We took it, you dick. Add it to the list and I'll tell you when we got the rest of it.
So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I sourced worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fool's heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fool's heads, it's asshole's heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new mollus, sort of a super mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA, and he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond, of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man. All right. Fuck it. I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm going to make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone.
Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. We got a shooter! Take cover! Shots fired! Shots fired! Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. You know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. Now, there are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. in person.
two down. Hey, there go Popo, dog. I ain't got much time left. Hey, L, it's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch.
You don't want to end up in the back of this. Piece of junk, <coughs> crap, shit.
Hey, what's cracking? Where's T at? It's right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Hey. So, let's sit up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah? I want you in this position up here. Yeah, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here, in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley, in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes' guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dawg. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, go. All right, T, I'm in position. What's the ETA? Looking for him. I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. Michael, you better get on your way. Get moving, him. Across both lanes, remember. Stop in the road and stay there. All right, I pulled up. Get ready, Frank. Sanitation aren't meant to be here. Hey, man, I got these motherfuckers.
I got the first shooter. Damn, man, you a calm motherfucker, dog. There goes the second shooter. Snipers are gone. We're clear. They're coming from the left. Look after yourself, dog, all right? Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom, so long, motherfucker. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores. Big ticket cars. Major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Eh, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. Hello? Slick! Oh, you must be Michael's boy! Oh, man! Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Ah, good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course you must be the creepy one. That's coming from you? Please. Mmm. What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie.
Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Seven millimeters. Who the fuck does this hey, shirt How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, Ooh the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right. Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. They'll stop eventually. Good things come to those who wait. As long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off. They gotta stop sometime. How far are they taking us? I can swear we've circled half the state. Thanks at the back. I think they want him to stop and take the booking. 
You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Hey man, you know how hard it was to drive slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real wreck. Peace. Share all this hip hop with you, right here. Y'all remember where y'all was when y'all first heard these tracks? Yes. Mm -hmm. I know that voice. You're that Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Devin Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Ah, oh, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South L.S. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Don't hang up. I, uh, I think I love you. I vote we indulge his childish need to play. Besides, it's his head on the block if they get scratched. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South L.S., so that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see about that. Talent prevails. That's all I'll say. Frank, yeah, what did I tell you, bro? These cars, <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing them. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, oh, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dawg. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't write me off just yet. Mike. What do you mean? 
Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just the smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing her job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you, back off her. Jet pilot, asshole! <laughs> Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, <laughs> hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick. Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Devin Weston sent me. Oh, oh, right. Uh, the helipad is on the roof. I think I'm gonna fix your attitude. No, you got the wrong guy, man. You pissed off the wrong officer. Jump in! Right along? Sure. Let's go. Boot up the scanner thing. It can pick up those new ID cards, right? When it's on, just fly where I point. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State License. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Sounds good. We're gonna go see my pal. So hey, you researching a movie or TV? You're a screenwriter, right? Mm, not exactly. An actor? Kinda smells like you're researching a role. Hey, 
guy got a confession, okay? I'm not an actor, or a writer, or the son of a bigwig. I'm a criminal, and your boss has kind of sold you to me. Sold me? I'm afraid so. Like chattel. Huh? Now we got that clear, you need to know we're looking for a high-value automobile. Once we find it, my guy in the ground will jack it, and we're great. Who we got over by the oil derricks? My man! I'll give him a scan. Public exposure? What's the deal, Franklin? Man, fuck that. I got a high ass, homie. What time to pick a brother up for any old shit? You want me to take it out on the LSPD representative sitting beside me? Man, just get the house. Dude, we looking for us down that way. I'll follow the car. How it? You heard the man. Wherever you want to go. You arrested my African-American friend for a minor infraction? The LSPD disgusts me. Well, it's not me. I mean, there's some bad apples in the department, but any accusation of a racist culture, uh... You want to bullshit me? You can bullshit the freeway. We do community outreach, but we have minority quotas. Yeah, 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 your nice dick's got a minority quota. I should take... Look, please. We come so far in the last two decades. Oh, you're lucky I can't use this thing with one hand and fly with the other. Come in, Franklin. We're in position over Howick Avenue. What's the name of the suspect? The dude's name is Chad Mulligan. All right? Chad Mulligan. Roger that. Huh? Ten years on the job and all Not our guys. is the bottom line. Two guys on a rooftop going at it. The lady downstairs in the bikini. Let's see if we can connect the dots. I got you, you creep. It's a free country. I know we ain't I'm... after this one. It's him. You got him. She's showing it off. She wanted me to look. You were there. I see my hard car owner. Keep telling yourself that. She wanted it. If she wanted it, why are you sneaking around? Come in, Franklin. Suspect not in the area. I repeat. Suspect not found in the area. All right, all right. He might be a couple blocks east of him. Roger that. Can you pretend you're enjoying it? I'm already very insecure. This isn't helping. I'm paying you a decent wage. I expect some enthusiasm. Not Mulligan! Hey, Jay, you disrespecting my girl, man. I've already been this her the one. This is bullshit. Well, shit, now you're paying for the service of me not we shooting keep you on the base, you disrespectful fuck. Zavo. Zavo! Not a glad. My glad. Oh, oh Zavo. No. Suspect stopped 
walking appears to be accessing a small garage. All right, all right, this is it. I'm gonna get the call. Hey, motherfucker. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. What happened? Hey, look, just stay on him, man, and let me know where he is. going south on Dutch Drive. Suspect going west down alley toward El Rancho. Hey, where this fucking asshole at? Car going north on El Rancho. Woo, woo, woo. All units be advised, we have a possible joyrider heading west on Howick in a black C-type. Hey, man, you getting another cop on this shit? Nah, homie. I'd appreciate the authenticity. Oh, okay. Well, I fucking don't. Junction 3, we have reports of dangerous driving in your sector. Uh, well, this is Chopper Unit 3. Reports are greatly exaggerated. Over. Your boy Chad very nearly totaled the score. Oh, Chad, that was close. All right, I see him. I see him. I'm moving in. Hey, fuck me, man. Where is he? Suspect back on Del Perro heading west. Frank, you gotta speed this up. He's getting away. You see him? Reckless driver sighted crossing Dorset Drive. They're excited near the Life Invader offices. He's turned into an alley off Del Perro. Hey, you my eyes, right? Suspect last seen near parking garage. Suggest ground team clear the building. Pilot boy! Pick us down. I need to see inside the building. Slow and steady. This camera's giving me a little air sickness. I get violent when I'm queasy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll keep her steady. All garage access clear. Suspect is in the building. I can't see him. Need some help here, flyboy. Where is he? Ah. Uh... You can toggle to thermal vision if you think that would help. Oh! Well, you might have just turned yourself a reprieve. You know, I think I'm developing feelings for you. All right. Oh, this might help. Hey, can y'all still see me? I'm in the middle of the garage, man, right here. I've got you. Hey, take a look around. Is there another heat source? Near side of the garage, on my left, there's a man in a car. This better be him. This better be the guy. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Fit. I know you think this car might be worth something, but it ain't. It ain't got no resale. Zilch. You know what I Tell me. Suspect down! Fine work, ground unit! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right.
Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go! Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael, Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal, so now He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs>
Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. You get lost, Wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> uh. 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 Make a 
New Deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay? Sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Whoa, whoa, hey! Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. Oh! Call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week. How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fill a piss test at any point on this shoot? <laughs> Dude! surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art, a simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Whew. Ah! Hell yeah. So what you're doing what Ever heard of Jackson Skinner? He's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill. Shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. When you get low, turn...
That must be my girl. Hey, what up, girl? You won't get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. For ten bucks. You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. That wasn't what we agreed on, and you know that. You're gonna regret this. Pretty soon, I'm gonna be so big, hey, you're gonna beg me to hire you. Like you know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. 
What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Who farted? Come on, that's disgusting. Oh man, there's an up and atom burger box under my seat filled with vomit. Hey, get in, we're running late. Did anyone see fame or shame last night? I can't watch that Laszlo anymore. He's like a man in a woman's body or a woman in a man's body. I don't know, he just really weirds me out. Well, you're late, late, late. That'll be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Blame it on the city! Hey, I thought you needed a ride, homie. Why you bailing? Attention passengers, please hold on to your fucking seats. Stop the bus, you maniac! Just get on the bus, man. We saved the seat for you and everything. Who's got a phone? Call We're taking the a short detour, ladies and gentlemen. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the beautiful downtown of Los Santos. That's business shit. You know how it is. Good to go. 